Is it real bad? Sneak peek of this wall. It's gonna yeah. die in probably a week. Mm, that is so good. Hey guys, welcome back to Our Family Nest. I don't know why I end up starting out so many videos where I'm opening packages that I got in the mail. However, I got this big box from Urban Outfitters. When we were in Vegas, we went into an Urban Outfitters and Carly got this planter. She wanted to get it when we were in the store and I'm like, we don't wanna to have to try to pack that in our luggage and have it get broke. So we'll just order it when we get home. So of course, when I got on the website, to order it when we got home, I found this. I might as well just take you guys into my office because that's where this is going to go. I have this plant, but this set works out really nice here on my shelf, because look at how big that is. All right, so here's how it looks over here. I don't like it as much. I think it looks cuter on that wall, but here the plants will get better light. Oh, and this morning I just finished reading this book, The Lion's Den by Catherine St. John. And it was pretty good. It's kind of like a thriller, sort of a little bit of murder in there. I don't know why I just sometimes struggle with thriller type books that they're not fast paced and like exciting the whole entire book. I don't know. I just, I could put it down. It was good. It ended really, really good. But I just feel like overall I was able to stop reading it and do other things. And I like when a book just doesn't let me put it down. And I am on Goodreads too, if you wanna look me up, it's Our Family Nest, so. I mean, like if there's something that has that much dog hair on it. Is that a real bad? I don't think it is. I mean, they're just gonna not take it if it is, you know? Yeah. It's not gonna get bad. Carly's got a bunch of stuff that she's taken to Plano's closet. We've never done this before. We usually do the whole like, oh yeah, how much, I have like no gas. So normally we sell all of her stuff on like the Carly Reese resale page, but it takes, so it takes a long time. It's very little money in return. And now PayPal. Like I don't think the amount of money that we get back is even worth doing that like every day for three hours. Right. And starting in 2022, PayPal and Venmo and all those services, if you're not like paying people, friends and family, they send you a 1099 and you have to pay taxes at the end of the year. So my PayPal account is set up as a business account. Carly can't have a PayPal account yet because she's not 18. So I'm just like, so anyways, we're gonna see how this Plato's Closet thing goes. She's got three laundry baskets and a Rubbermaid container. So four things of clothes. I know they don't really give you that much for your clothes, but I guess it's better than nothing. And then, I don't know, are you gonna go back through and see if there's anything you just wanna like give to friends or something before you take well, it to Goodwill? I already um, kind of did that. So we decided to go to Walmart because Carly said they have good plants here. They do. And they? one of my succulents this died. And I needed a new plant for my plant shelf thing in my office, and so I got a fiddle fig. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. So Carly will show you the things she got from Urban Outfitters when we get home. But we're just kind of going through Walmart and find stuff we don't need. All right, so we left Walmart. We had to check out really quick because I got the text from Plato's Closet that they were ready for her to come back and get her clothes. And they closed in 30 minutes, so we made it here just on time. I don't know if you can really see. Just yeah. in time. What did I? Just on time. I've never. Just heard in time. Yeah, that makes more sense. You just on think. time. Just in time. Anyways, <laughs> you always do that question stuff I say, and I'm like, wait, is that right? Anyways, they said she had amazing clothes that she should come back anytime, and I told her that I'm like, well. We're on social media as a career, and she's done the whole Carly, and I didn't say Carly Reese, I just said Carly Instagram thing where she sells her own clothes and it does really well. Um, and I can tell you, like the last time we did the big batch of 
I want to see what they didn't take. The last time we did the big batch of your clothes on Instagram, you made four times the amount than what we just made right here. Yeah, but guess what? That took an hour and no effort at all. Yeah, how much do you think it's for? I don't know. They write a check, so I'm going to have to pay you because the check's in my name. 213 Yeah. Million. I'll still take it. <laughs> so I had to deposit it and then Venmo you, but yeah. It was $213, or you could have got $266 of store credit. So, I guess it's better than nothing. We're going to take the rest to Goodwill. Or you want to go through and see what they didn't take? I just kind of want to know. Kind of. It seemed I like... I mean, I don't really care that much because I'm not going to take it back. But. Yeah. It seemed like they didn't take um, some winter stuff, maybe. But they have these bins on their shelf, and they filled four bins with your clothes. I was like, so if you think about it, that was $50 per bin of clothes. You know they're going to sell that stuff for way, way, way more. But I mean, it's that's, kinda... that's the purpose of the business. So. so Carly and I decided to stop at the rental house, but I think... I had shared with you guys previously in a video, I was like, should we just share tidbits here and there of the progress of the rental house or just save and do like rental house update videos? And that's what we're gonna do. So there'll be an update video probably coming in the next week or so. But I'm just gonna give you guys a sneak peek of this wall because I feel like it looks so cool. So this is shiplap. Ken and Blake hung that in here. We went with this distressed look shiplet for this room and uh yeah stay tuned for another video with more house updates Ew, he's slobbering all over my stop it <laughs> oh tucker <laughs> tucker of course i really here's my fiddle fig tree Hold on a sec, I gotta take this to my office. Do, 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 do. All right, so this is how it looks. We'll see how it works. I feel like maybe these plants are all too big for this thing. But we'll leave it like this for a while and see how it goes. Here's the plant pot that I have. In here. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so this one looks fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do mine like that too. So here's how it turned out. I think it looks really cute with that plant, except I think I might rearrange them. <laughs> It'll, it's gonna do that. And then you won't even it's see it. It's gonna die in probably a week, so let's be realistic here. This looks cute. Looks kind of long. It looks cute. It looks like it has an afro. Mr. Snail. I gotta find my moss balls. Okay. So hey guys, so it is the next day and I just did a little bit of emails and made sure the video got up for the day. I need to go over to the rental house and finish tearing the wallpaper down in the kitchen, which I'm like, don't really want to do, but it needs to get done because Ken wants to hang the shiplap in the family room and that wall needs to get finished. But Real quick first, this has been driving me crazy. So I don't know how long ago it was. We shared it in a video that Carly helped me organize these bookshelves and we did it like in rainbow order. And ever since I did it, there's just a couple things that have been bothering me. One, I have books that I've read and haven't read all mixed together just to keep them in rainbow order. And then I also don't have like, this winter series, these three books go together. They should be together. Plus I've already read them. So I kind of don't want them mixed in here. So I feel like I'm gonna do, it's not really gonna be rainbow order anymore. So long as you got the books that I've read, keep them separate. And then like books that I have that like go together, like look at these Finley Donovan books. I have the first one, the second one. I need them to be together. This is just killing me. And then before I leave, I'm gonna share with you guys how to make a copycat Chick-fil-A 
lemonade. You know, their like frozen lemonade drink that's just to die for. I'm gonna share with you how to make it. Definitely not in rainbow order anymore, but I like it because I haven't read these, I haven't read those, and then I haven't read to right here. And then all those I've read, and those I've read. Well, I used to always get rid of my books after I've read them, and I don't know why this year I changed my mind. Maybe it was even before the end of last year. I'm like, I'll just hang on to them. Oh, I know, because Carly kind of started getting into reading. And I'm like, well, some of these she might want to read. Some of them that she actually has bought books that I've already read that I ended up getting rid of. So, I don't know. I'm just keeping them for now. But I feel like I'm going to run out of space here soon. I'm actually going to make two Cappy Cat drinks. One of them is the frozen lemonade from Chick-fil-A and the other one is the orange Julius. If you've never heard of it, you won't care about this, but oh my God, it's so good. All right. So what you need for both of these is the clean, simple eats vanilla protein. That's just simply vanilla. I have a link put down in the description for you guys to use my code candy and get 10% off. Yep, it's 10% off. <laughs> I've shared with you guys before that my favorite Clean Simple Eats protein powder, if you wanna try more than one of them at a time, is the brownie batter. It makes such a good chocolate tasting protein shake with just straight up water. You don't even have to use like oat milk or almond milk or just straight up water. It tastes so good. All right, so for the Chick-fil-A lemonade, we're gonna use this. We're gonna use the Simply Light Lemonade. And then you can use like coconut cream, which I seen they had like in this weird section of the grocery store. Or I just got the coconut cream creamer. You just need a little bit of it. So I feel like this is gonna work and taste better than the can of coconut cream. But you can try either one. And then ice, that's all you need for this one. One scoop of the protein powder, eight ounces of lemonade, then one tablespoon of the coconut cream. That's probably pretty good. And then I got this handy dandy little mixer off of Amazon. I will link this down below if you guys want to try one of these and they have a ton of different cute colors. It's basically a frother is what this is. So fun, right? Now we're gonna add some ice. If you really wanted to, you could blend this with the ice in like a blender or blend jet or whatever. But I just added the ice to it. Oh, wow. It really does taste like it. I feel like this probably would be better blended up and make the ice real teeny tiny. So you're getting those little chunks of ice when you drink it. That is really good. I'm actually gonna make this one in my blend jet because I feel like it's going to be just a little bit better. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start with the scoop of vanilla protein. And then this time we're using the Simply Light orange juice. So the best thing about this is you're having a drink that's gonna have 20 grams, actually 21 grams. Protein powder has 20 grams of protein and the orange juice for eight ounces has another gram of protein. So 21 grams of protein. Some whipped cream. You go with the extra creamy. It's splattering all over me. Doesn't that look yummy? I don't know, this protein must just really have a really nice rich vanilla taste to it because this just, mm, that is so good. I'm gonna make this cute. Well, that's probably more than two tablespoons. I don't wanna take a picture of this for my Instagram. Hey guys, good morning afternoon snack i made an orange julius drink you guys remember these from the mall all right guys that is going to wrap up today's video thank you so much for watching i hope you guys are having a great week and we will see you next time bye guys
Thank you.